Hit that dab teddy bear. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Uh, there's nothing we can do though. The Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there. Dab. Woof. Hey dudes, Totally Jad here for another YouTube video. So recently, I've been receiving emails from this really weird guy who wants me to send him pictures of my cat. Now, at first, I didn't know how to deal with this. I was like, whoa, you wanna see pictures of Bundy? I don't wanna send you pictures of Bundy, he's my boy. But then I started thinking, could this be something more dangerous? And then I realized something. I need help. So, I found this video that will teach me how to properly protect myself on the internet. And hopefully it can teach you guys too. It is called the WYSIWYG's Web Watcher Guide. Let's watch. The first one for you to know is the Spamazoid. Oh, okay. Is that a Spamazoid or... Or a public restroom? Seriously, why does it sound like a public restroom? This video is off to a great start. I can just tell it's going to be incredible. The Spamazoid sends the same email to all of their friends and to everyone else on their email list. They would send email to everybody on the web if they could. This kind of email is called spam. Ah, uh, yes. I think I've met a Spamazoid before. Hello, the the Bank of America. Yeah, and I'm Roald Dahl, mate. Ew, I hate getting spammed. If you find that your email box is stuffed all of a sudden, a spamazoid may have struck. Oh no. <gasps> spamazoid! This is the hothead. <laughs> Hotheads use mean and ugly words to burn people when they communicate. Hotheads lose friends fast. If you run across a hothead, just ignore them or tell an adult. Pfft. Yeah, because telling your parents about someone being mean to you on the internet always works. Hey mum, someone's been picking on me on the internet. Get over it. And don't you be a hothead. Here is Call of You Fiona. You look like a snake! <laughs> I'm your friend. You can tell me anything, like your name and your address and your phone number. You can trust me. We'll be our little secret. Yeah. Yes. Nope, no, 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 no. I'm being serious this time. Follow you, Fiona, is legit nightmare fuel. Seriously. Follow you, Fiona, is the scariest WYSIWYG. She tries to find out information about people on the web, and then she follows them around. The thing to remember when you're out on the web is use your net smarts. Get it? Net? Because it's a fishing net? I mean, it's meant to look like a fishing net. We didn't have any real ones lying around, so I had to put a sock over. Yeah? What do you want? Can I come out now? Have you discovered the secret portal to Narnia yet? Um... No. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. You've also got to watch out for the Google. <laughs> the Oogle, you say? Looks more like Kevin the Minion to me. You know, maybe this is where Illumination got the idea for Minions from. From this video here. Oh, that would be hilarious. I, wa I want that to happen. I want that to happen. Oogle hangs out in the web and uses that one big eye of his to watch what you do and where you go on the web. Then he tries to figure out how to get a hold of other people's personal info and passwords and stuff. Hey dude, uh, this is just something I thought I should tell you. 
Could you stop stomping your foot, please? The ogre may look dumb, but he is very tricky. Yeah, if you are out on the internet and you fill out a form, sign up to win a prize, or give out any personal information, it gives the ogre access to not only your email address, but also your age and name, address, and phone number. Okay, so let me get this straight. The Google is basically Facebook. Because if you didn't know, Facebook takes your information and sells it to advertisers so they know who to target their ads to. Just a little fact for you. Last but not least is the NumBut. Huh? You can tell the NumBut by their big, starey eyes and the empty expression on their face. The NumBut stays glued to the computer screen 24 hours a day. That's actually offensive to me. You know, I'm not on the computer all of the day. I'm only on the computer half of the day. The rest of the time, I'm asleep, thank you. The NumBut doesn't have a life. Wah, wah, wah. They never get up and go outside or do anything. <whistles> ha, I did it. I'm outside. Who's the number now? <laughs> Ow. Ooh. Ooh, that's tender. Ow. You know, I'm done with this video. It's insulted me. It's ridiculed me. It's done all these bad things. But at least it has taught me how to deal with the problem I'm having. No longer will I live in fear of you, Mr. De Beast. From this day forward, I take control of my internet. Wog one pifting. What's your BBN pin, bruv? Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. This one actually took me quite a while to make, so I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope the camera quality was a bit better in this one as well, because I was using my new Galaxy S6's camera. So I hope that it looks a bit better in this video. Anyway, sorry to keep blathering on. I hope that you enjoyed the rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. See you all in the next video, hopefully.